Hey friends, so an update has happened here with 7 Days to Die. Now first of all, this is an experimental update, 20.1. You actually have to opt in to get that, we'll go into that in a little bit here. But the most exciting thing I found out of this update is that the stability is now fixed and they even updated and improved how the show stability function works, which is really exciting and I'm going to make some quick tutorials on it. So before Alpha 20.1 Experimental, if you replaced a block in a building, it didn't update the building correctly and you would have faults all over it and people were finding that they were putting stuff down on their base and it was causing a collapse or stuff was just straight up falling off their base where it absolutely made no sense. I made a few videos on it here in the past, but that has been fixed here in Alpha 20.1, which is really exciting. So now when you replace a block, it actually fixes the blocks themselves. Now they do recommend starting a new update to do this, but there is a fix for this in your current playthroughs. Now, if you're having some issues, uh, either be it a POI you're trying to fix up, the base you're at, all you gotta do is go into debug mode using your F on one button, type in DM, enter, go back in, press escape, and up in the corner there, you'll see recalculate stability. If you press on that button, you should be all good. And if you pay special attention down in the lower hand corner is how you turn on show stability. So now if you guys want to install this, we're going to get right into that. All you got to do is load up your Steam, go to your library, select seven days to die, right click on it, go to properties, down to betas, and select Go uh, scroll all the way down there and then select the latest experimental and the update will be yours. Now, I do expect maybe a week or two to see this update come out to the stable one. And when it does, I will remind you guys. Let's get into the meat of this update. So they have done a ton of POI work based on player feedback. We are not going to go over that stuff because there is an incredible amount of it. I will put the link uh, to this update and its notes. I'm going to put it right up there in the top pin comment for you. So getting into the ones that are important, they reworked all couch harvest to give some of the main resources on the destroy event instead of in the middle of the harvest. So you have to break down the couch entirely now. Slightly increased the probability of books Found in book piles and crack book shelves. Thank you. I thought it was a little harsh because I was opening up book piles just to find a few sheets of paper in them. Uh, I, I thought that was very unfair itself. I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, uh, enable graphic jobs. I have no idea what that means. So here is another one. Updated loot probability and quality templates to better align with the new loot stage system. So we'll probably get some better looting now, guys. Stuff that actually makes a little sense. Because like I was saying in my playthrough, I kept uh, breaking through and unlocking containers and the loot in them really sucked. And you know, I was like, what's the sense of even stopping to do that? And a lot of people were complaining that they were getting a lot of empty loot containers even at a high game stage. So they added this one in here. Uh, added an updated loot probabilities with a prob t2 cap template to prevent empty loot containers and or missing loot items at high loot stage where probability t3 is not available so it looks like they um, took that and they're like yeah okay we'll we'll at least give you some stuff every time you loot mailboxes now have a higher chance to spawn archery spear and needle and thread books in the game that is really nice Reworked tier chest loot to better reflect POI difficulty. And I think this is where I was complaining, like getting through to the chest, that they just weren't putting out the loot. And it looks like they addressed it here with this update. Reduce the amount of aloe cream found in backpacks. There's a lot of that. Increase the chance to find acid in sinks and chemical sets. I know a lot of you guys were like, it is impossible to find this stuff. There you go. They, uh, they, they address that in this update too. Had another low chance to find vehicle wheels in passing gas crates. We got ourselves another warehouse fix here. I don't know why that's halfway down the menu. Reorganize the furniture helpers to prevent unwanted block rotations, hiding adjacent block faces due to mixed type blocks properties. Uh, move cabinets, cupboards, and bookshelves to a new player crafted helper block. Uh, that might not mean a lot to you guys, but that'll help with like some weird orientation sometimes in the POIs. I've noticed it myself. They're like covering something that you're supposed to be able to get to. So the rest of that's pretty much just improving how stuff spawns in the POY so you get more of a variety of it. 
Here we go, Penetrator Perk now references the lever action rifle instead of the marksman rifle, so they're looking after a couple of the stuff they missed on on the update for the descriptions. Drone description no longer references its ability to fight. I even commented on that in the recent episode as well. I was like, well, they gotta fix that. Uh, a big one here, guys. Reduced ammo loot counts uh, by about 15 to 30%. Reduced the amount of ammo found in yellow loot bags from large to medium groups. So we're not gonna be finding as much loot now out in the world and especially in those... Uh, in those uh, zombie bags, which kind of sucks. I was rely on, relying on those, but that's okay. I have a bunch of brass saved up. Reduced amount of ammo found in blue zombie loot bags from two large rolls to one. So that looks like it's probably about 50% less. That's huge. And in under fixes, guys, here's a big one. This is all POI stuff. Drone can fall under bedrock and get stuck. Yeah, you definitely don't want that happening. Now, if they can avoid that happening, period, that would be great. There is a, a drone duplication error. They fix that. There is a workbench duplication bug and the crafting multiples of items correctly if output slots were full and placed directly into player inventory. So there's a little bit of a problem there and the duplication bug I was not aware of. So they've addressed both of those and you can also shoot through the bunk bed frames now. This is interesting. Pathing incorrect ladder height check if open to sky. Hmm. I wonder now if zombies will actually go up ladders. You know what? I'm going to test that out. All right, here I am in a copy of my base day one world in 20.1. Let's go ahead, spawn in 25, oh, let's say zombie bikers to have a good time. Um, I should be feral, so they should have my attention here. Are they going to track up this ladder? That is our big question. Oh, no, guys, look at this. They are tracking up ladders now without blocks over top of them. Oh, that's a big change. So here, getting back into the update, they have inconsistent resources and scaling on military armor recipes. That may change stuff for a few people. AK-47 and pump shotgun hollow sight location updates. So they move the hollow sight on the guns. Uh, tactical AR hollow sight scope offset for dot alignment. So it looks like they've done a lot of work here with uh, some of the weapon stuff. We got hollow sight dot position updates for iron crossbow and compound crossbow. Wow, it looks like they updated it for everything. Le lever action rifle and auto shotgun. Ah, here we go, guys. This is a big one I was talking about earlier. Structural integrity is not recalculating when block pillar is recreated. So that's what I showed you right at the beginning. Here's another one for weapons, slightly tweaked scope camera, offsets, and dot placement for reflex scope on pipe shotgun. They also did the sniper rifle, hollow sight dot update. I guess a few achievements weren't working as well, so they fixed those. If you guys weren't getting them, you should get them now. And it looks like that's about it, guys. There's a whole bunch of other little things in there. Like I said, if you want to catch it all, go ahead and check out the update. But there's some pretty exciting stuff in this update. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think about the new stuff. The ammo nerf, the stability fix, uh, the fact that zombies can track up any ladder now. Honestly, I think that was purely a fix. I don't think that was ever supposed to be a feature. And yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. I'm going to be doing some base day one in the videos now on alpha 20.1. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break our game save but we'll continue ahead with it and i'll see you guys in the next video remember guys stay classy